Hey friends, hi, I am Ashish and I am back with my new video. So today we are gonna simulate a inverter schematic. So for that you need to create a new library. Go to file, new library, inverter. So a new library is created here. Now right click on it and create a new cell. So you can see a new uh, schematic cell generated inside our library. So now go to components. This is your PMOS, this is NMOS, this is VDD and ground. So let's select uh, PMOS, click on the icon and then just click here, save for NMOS, select your VDD. Around. and this is your input output pin so this is gonna be my input this is gonna be my output let's fit it to the screen okay now to connect the two components just click on any component you, which you want to uh, connect to other component and then uh, right click on the other component so a blue line will appear that's nothing but your wire so same way it works for other components so now we want to resize our PMOS and NMOS so uh, click on a PMOS go to edit properties object properties so we have a shortcut key over here that is control i so you can use that now in a bit select 10 do the same for nmos also then edit ten so our pmos with this 10 and most with this 10 and the length of both of them are, uh, is uh, 2 then we are gonna name all, all these components so to name a PMOS we have to click on it then go to tools then simulation spice then set spice model then double click on this and in capital write PMOS the same way for the NMOS simulation spice set spice model double click on this then NMOS and for this you have to create export so this is input and same way for the output export create export output characteristics output okay so we are done naming all the components in our circuit so now our schematic is ready and in order to uh, run this schematic uh, we need to write a spice code so uh, i'll be teaching you how to write a spice code in my next tutorial so hope to see you guys there till then bye bye